Hi guys, so I just wanted to do a quick video talking about um, these new nail polishes I've been trying. So I literally just moved into my new place. You guys can see like some luggage right there and there's like a lone hammer, I think, like hanging out right there. Um, so please ignore those things. But anyways, uh, I was recently in Target and I ran across these like Sally Hansen Miracle Gel polishes. So I know that they've been out for a while, but I feel like they're always so hard to get your hands on. Like I had to run to like Target and then CVS and I still couldn't find a lot of the colors that I wanted. There's a lot of beautiful colors I'm still trying to get my hands on and I haven't been able to get yet so anyways I'll just go over what I have basically the whole gimmick with these polishes is that it's kind of like a gel nail polish and that's supposed to last for around two weeks without chips or at least a pretty long time but it doesn't need a light you don't need to like prepare your nail in any way and then it comes off with regular nail polish remover and so I got these colors. They're about $7.99 or $9.99 depending on the day at like Target and CVS. Uh, right now CVS is running a deal where if you get two of these and you have a, the CVS card, then you get like five CVS bucks or whatever the reward program is. And so I'll just go through the colors that I got. So the first one I got was B-Girl. So this was actually my least favorite out of all of them. And I was so hopeful because look at how beautiful this color is. And it seemed like right up my alley, it's this like kind of muted, pretty aquamarine color. So first off, on the brush is nice. Like I like the brush but the formula is so bad and out of all the ones I picked up it was most noticeable with B-Girl even after four coats it still wasn't completely opaque it took forever to dry because it was so thick and I just really didn't like it. I was so disappointed. I posted photos, by the way, I have photos of my blog and swatches and stuff on my blog, but I was so disappointed with this one. It really bummed me out. And so then the next two I picked up were from CVS, just because, like I said, I had a really hard time finding these, but CVS tend to have like a larger selection. And so then the other ones I got were all chalked up and creme de la creme, so I'm wearing two different colors on my nails. Which one? Okay, no, it's wrong. So I'm wearing two different colors on my nails. So I just want to show these two colors side by side. I'm um, since I already gave you a look at B-Girl. So this one on this hand, I have all chalked up. And on this hand, I have um, creme de la creme. It's funny because this all chalked up online, it kind of looks like a grayish color. It's actually more of like a mauve really kind of like a purplish gray. It's it's really not gray at all. It looks more like a, like a darker lavender, dirty lavender. And then this one's kind of more like a pearlescent color with like a slight pink tint. Um, out of all of them, this had the best application with about two coats. It was pretty much opaque. And then that brings me to the top coat. So the top coat is supposed to be like what makes the magic happen. So you put on like a layer of the top coat and it's supposed to seal it. Um, it's supposed to, you know, help it like last for a long time. So it lasted for a very long time. Um, so this is B-Girl after six days. So this is a close-up of B-Girl. Um... I've had this on for six days now and no noticeable chips. Right, can't really see any. See, even after six days, it's really good. You know, I, I don't imagine that most people would be wearing like the same polish for like 14 days in a row just because I think, you know, for the most part, people, when you like nail polish, you like get tired of the same color and you just want something different. In case you don't get tired of the same color or you're like going on vacation, it would be really good for that. But I was really bummed out with this top coat just because, like the nail polish, it was really thick. It was, you know, very goopy. It took a very long time to dry. You know, all together, um, in between painting and putting on the top coat, it was like, you know, maybe an hour or so. And like, who has time to sit there for an hour and do their nails? You might as well just like get them done, right? And because it was such a thick layer of top coat and polish, it just, you know, took forever to dry. And then even when you first paint your nails, it doesn't really seem like shiny and glassy in the way that like sesh feet or like out the door even looks. Just, it looks very dull. It looks like how your nail polish looks after maybe like four or five days of wear. You know, it's just, it's a very dulled kind of like porous looking top coat. So I was kind of bummed out. So overall, my thoughts are, you know, I would still look for the colors that I really like, especially the bright colors. Um, I think I'm going to use this Get Mod. I actually just got this one. I'm going to use this Get Mod and just do, like, French manicures with it. So that way it could be, like, a long-lasting French manicure that's, like, not fake nails um, or gel nails or acrylics because I, I hate fake nails, guys. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use it as, like, a French manicure. Um, this one's probably going to go back because I was really bummed out. I really just, like, hated the application with this. Still on the fence about this, but definitely going to keep this one because I like it a lot. But that's basically it. So if you're someone who's looking for really long wear and you also don't like gel nails, it's a good buy. Um, but if you're someone who likes that like kind of like glassy shellac look, then it's not quite there yet. Um, I think this line has a lot of potential, but it didn't quite hit all the marks for me. I just don't think it's like really pretty enough just because, you know, it's on top of that, it's like you can just see like how thick the polish is when you paint it on. It, like, it looks like it's gooped on, and it just kind of bummed me out. So that's it. Um, that's my review of the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Polishes. Just check out my blog if you guys want to see some more photos. 
Um, and that's it. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. <laughs>